long that long it is. Hey y'all, what's up? So this is my five month post-op update. I did have the BSG surgery. Uh, vertical sleeve gastrectomy in Tijuana, Mexico with the Mexico Bariatric Center and I'm going to go ahead and get into it. I will have all of my stats and information listed down below in the description box so be sure to check that out and we're going to go ahead and jump right into the video. So there has been changes. Um, change number one, I chopped all my hair off uh, about almost a week ago. So let me pick my nose. Um, yeah, I chopped off all my hair, and I actually really like it. I was super scared, like super nervous about chopping off my hair. I've never had my hair this short before. Hi, you want to say hi? Come here, Mama. Come here, fat girl. Ugh. <gasps> Ugh. This is Wednesday. Say hi, Mama. She click clacks around my office all the time, so uh, just, you know, ignore the click clack. Um, anyway, so that was Wednesday. Um, like I said, I chopped off all my hair, and I'm really loving it, actually. Um, I did it last Wednesday. Today is Monday, the 17th, and I'm not going to go into where have I been... Why am I not uploading? Because by my last video, we kind of know why um, I'm... there. There's been changes. So, let me start back a couple weeks ago. Um, I think it was December 3rd. I think. Either December 3rd. I think it was December 3rd. I don't know. Three or four weeks ago. No. Two or three weeks ago, um, it was a Monday night, I had gotten out of the shower, you know, we were getting ready to go to bed, I was blow drying my hair, and I passed out. I completely just blacked out on the floor of the bathroom, thank God Chris was in the bedroom, cause, uh, I mean, yeah, I was out, cold, like a light, lights off, Casey left the building, I was gone. So, I was only out for a few minutes. I mean, no, not even a few minutes. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to stretch it there. Um, I was out, I mean, Chris said maybe a few seconds or something. And he said whenever I was waking up, it's like I was being woken up from being asleep. Um, but yeah, I passed out cold. And um, I don't really know why. I don't know. Um... I mean, I have been rather naughty. Through October and November, I was really bad about taking my vitamins. I wasn't taking them and, you know, whatever. That's really bad. You have to take your vitamins. If you have the surgery, you need to take your vitamins because we are not getting, you know, a lot of the nutrients that we need from our food. And, and yeah, you need to take your vitamins. So be sure to take your vitamins because I wasn't and... I wasn't taking my hair vitamins and my hair was coming out a lot. My hair texture was really, really bad and it wasn't good. You know, it was bad. Um, I had actually, I had just taken out my extensions. I'm still trying to figure out the date of when that was. I can't remember. But um, anyway, so after I had woken up, Chris had called my sister. She is an intake nurse at the ER and, you know, I was talking to her letting her know how I was feeling, you know, my whole, like, face over here, like, I couldn't see out of my left eye just because whenever I, I fell, I hit face first right here. I have, well, you can't see it right now because I have makeup on, but, um, I had bruising right here. I still have a little bit of bruising here, and I had a bump on my eyebrow right here. It's, Every now and then, I think it's still kind of swollen, but I had a big bump right here, um, bruising all on my eye here, and it was kind of like carpet, like, you know, like a carpet burn, but it's like tile in there, so it was like a tile burn, like on my face, all through here. Um, it 
wasn't on a pretty site. I didn't like gash open or anything like that, but it was it was scary to say the least. Chris said, I mean, he's never been that scared in his life. Um, so I'm fine. I haven't had anything happen to me since then. All I remember was I was just done blow drying my hair and I turned off the hair dryer. I put it down and whenever I went to turn, bam, I passed out. Um, and I wasn't like flipping my head upside down and coming back up or anything like that. I was literally standing there the whole time like this with the hair dryer. Just so it's not like I, you know, was had my hair flipped over and I flipped back up and got lightheaded, nothing like that. So I don't know, it was very strange and I haven't passed out like that since I was very, very young. I don't know, I'm feeling a whole lot better now. I have actually deleted all my social media. I don't have anything. Um, I just needed to take a step back. I, you know, wanted to take a step back from everything and just, I don't know. I just needed a minute. I just felt like overwhelmed and, you know, I, I don't know. I feel a lot better. You know, I don't have Instagram. I don't have my Snapchat, which that was only you know, kind of social media stuff that I had, but I feel really good without it. I'm not sitting there constantly checking my phone, you know, every 30 seconds to see if I got another like or anything like that. Like, I feel so much better. I still want to continue to make videos, you know, better than what I'm doing. Um, but I just, I'm totally cool without having social media in my life right now like I I don't feel that I need it I don't need that kind of like validation right now like I'm just I'm cool like I don't really know what I'm saying right now so what else has happened I have completely uh, with the help of my mom rearranged my entire like office slash beauty room or whatever um, once I get it completely finished, I can definitely do, like, a room tour if you're interested. Um, I don't have anything, like, super nice and, like, fancy schmancy, but I do absolutely love the way that it's set up right now. I have my backdrop set up. It's not in the middle of my office anymore, and there's not bags of clothes that I need to donate. Um, so I'm really liking my space right now. I just need to get back in it and really just put myself back out there like I'm I'm not gonna you know go back and get an Instagram right now um but I just want to get back into makeup and like just make videos that make me happy and not something that's like a chore because I think like for a little while there I was just like oh I gotta do I gotta do another video I gotta do this video I need to do this but then I never would, and then I'd be mad at myself. I'm not getting back into all of that. I just want to do what makes me happy right now, and so I'm going to do that. Taking a step away, and doing what I want. That's what I'm going to do. And it's almost Christmas, which means that it's almost New Year's, and I've already told myself, you know, I haven't been doing, like, uh, what are they called? Resolutions. I've never really made, like, a resolution whenever it was New Year's. Um, that was just not really, like, I mean, I knew that I wasn't going to do it, so <laughs> why bother? Um, but I am going to make a resolution with myself, and I will talk about that in a different video. So, in this video, I just want to let you know what was going on, that... I blacked out, but I'm totally fine right now. Like, I don't feel horrible at all. Oh, and I did check my blood pressure and my blood sugar, and those were absolutely, like, they were great. They were fine. I didn't go to the doctor after it just because I never go to the doctor because I just don't like to. <laughs> um, but my blood sugar and my blood pressure were totally fine, so I don't really know why I passed out. It just happened. But... We're moving on. 
Um, I did just get off of my period like yesterday and I do, my weight does not move whenever I'm on my period. I will usually gain like one or two pounds. Um, but, so I have hit a stall. Um, but I'm not freaking out about it. I have seen in some support groups, like, people would be like, oh my god, I haven't lost any weight, I gained one pound, like, they're freaking out, like, I know I'm not doing everything to a T, like I should, but I'm okay with that because I'm still really happy. I'm happy with where I'm at, and I am still losing weight, it might just be a little bit slow, but I am losing weight, so that's, that's still okay with me. Like, I might not be losing weight every single day, but I'm not freaking out about it how I was, say, like, two or three months ago. Honestly, I try to stay off of, like, support group pages because sometimes it makes me start going a little bit crazy because I'm like, oh my god, like, I know that girl had the same, or had the surgery the same day as I did. We were pretty close in weight, and she is, like, a size or two smaller in me in jeans. And it would drive me crazy. Like, I would be like, what am I doing wrong? Like, why am I not losing weight? Like, why is she so much better than me? But you have to remember that you're... Oh, I hit my phone really hard. I'm sorry. <laughs> but you have to remember that you are not the same as the other person. Your journey and their journey are completely different you are not going to have the exact same results as this person or this person or that person. It's not going to happen. You're going to have the results that you're going to have. Um, that might not be what you want to hear and you might want to, you know, this person, they were a size 22 and now they're a size 4. That might not happen for you. And I know that's probably not going to happen for me. Uh, for one, my whole family, we are just built thick. You know, we got like thick thighs and thick calves. My calf muscles, y'all, they are muscular. Like, super muscular. Whenever I flex them, shoot. Anyways, I don't know where I'm going with any of this. I'm kind of going a little bit crazy and I've been rambling for like, I don't know, 15 minutes straight. Basically, what I'm trying to get at is that your results are not going to be the same as someone else, but it's okay. Like, don't stress about it just do what you think is right. I mean, like, I probably could have totally different results if I was going absolutely crazy with my diet and I was doing everything perfectly. I mean, yeah, I do need to do things better, like obviously take my vitamins. Um, I'm not getting in enough protein, and I know that, and I'm not drinking enough water in a day, and I know that, but I'm doing what I can, and what I think is best for me, and I'm still having results. So I'm happy with that. I mean, like, whenever I was doing pre-op uh, at the hospital, they were like, hey, you're, like, right on the cusp of having diabetes. And I'm like, well, good thing I'm having the surgery, huh? I mean, if I wouldn't have had the surgery, who knows? Who knows what would have happened? Who knows how my health would be right now? Um, but I'm cool with where I'm at, you know? I'm still, you know, obviously I still want to lose weight. I want to at least lose 100 pounds. And, y'all, I am officially 70 pounds down. That is including my pre-op. Because a lot of people, I've noticed, they don't include their pre-op in, like, their weight that they've lost. But, girl, I lost 20 pounds on my pre-op diet, so I'm very proud of that. And I will include that in the weight that I have lost whenever I tell people. So, I have lost 70 pounds since this whole thing began. Um, and I'm freaking so happy about that. I want to lose 100 pounds and then just see what happens from there. So I have 30 more pounds to go, but it's cool. Like, I know that I can do it and you can do it too. You just have to put your mind to it and you can do it. I promise. Uh, I didn't plan what I'm saying today. So, I'm going to be all over the place. Have fun editing this, future Casey, because it's going to be a train wreck. Just to let you know. But, y'all, I mean, like, how are you liking 
like my background. It's the same background, like that pink one, but I have like more lighting in here and the whole way that this is set up is so amazing. I really wish that I would have taken before and after pictures because I really like how this looks. <laughs> wonder how long that was on my tooth. If you have any special requests for me, any questions, want me to talk about anything in a video, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be happy to get to it. Um, and I'm really, I'm really going to try to be better at videos. I promise. I promise. Like, I am. Alright y'all, so that's it for today, and I hope that that wasn't too rambly and all over the place, and it was a little bit coherent. Um, I really need to remember to write down bullet points about what I want to talk about. That would help me out a lot during all of this. Um, if you did like this video and you want to see some more or you want to see some more makeup videos, hit the like button and subscribe. Make sure to hit the notification bell so you know whenever I uh, upload videos, which I will get better with. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Turn up, let's go, let's go.